next little project I got this is a 84 380SL I think I might have shot some video it's got the hard top on it interior is pretty nice in it not torn up or anything everything seems to work the lights were a little funky uh, but here's uh, what I got here first I had a very high idle it was like 1500 and wouldn't come down but now you can see that it did come down turns out there's a controller there that regulates the idle So it's dropping it down to about 900. There's an air control valve in here in the front. Taking this apart, cleaned it. Put that on. It's actually working, so that valve is working. Quite a bit of stuff going on here. Looks good. See if I can explain it. Anyway, the high idle is fixed. You can hear it here. But uh, I had some other problems with this exhaust. But in here, do -do 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 it's got a mess in it, and uh, I'll shut it off and continue. Check all these uh, little hoses and fittings in here. Uh, I sprayed carburetor cleaner on it. They're all pretty much not leaking. There's a a manifold tube that seals around the injectors one on each side I uh, can't tell that they're leaking and the high idle is near close enough and uh, but I've got this random miss in it and I traced them all down there's one cylinder here that when you pull the plug off doesn't make any difference at all hardly and uh, my guess is the uh, the idle injectors are bad this is a strain system I didn't know anything about these but a few days of YouTube this thing is a mass airflow sensor and it's got a lever that regulates the fuel pressure distribution block here. And there's a setting inside this tall thing that you set to where it's just barely leaking or just barely got fuel when it's all shut off. I haven't tried to adjust anything yet. Uh, it runs good except at idle. Everything shifts good, and so forth. Transmission's good. I didn't pay much for the car. I had a, but I did pay a lot in shipping. But it's worth fixing. I think I got uh, probably three thousand in at this point. What I did do is order some of these new hoses. They were, I just got three feet of hose and I put these all back in here. There's one here that was leaking. That one, there's one in the back that's a, like a breather vent tube. Um, some of the little hardware, these standoff studs here are broke. 
it holds the air cleaner on or I guess it's over here there's one there it's snapped loose you can see it and so what I think it's happening is the number one I'm assuming this is number one number one cylinder fuel injector is plugged or the lines plugged and it's only on that one cylinder I've kind of know what most of these sensors are um, this thing is a um, cold idle enrichment circuit and there's a flipper and a flapper and some shit in there and that regulates the fuel pressure and the fuel pressure is directly related to the flow but I've got that one there it seems to be working good there was a sensor in the back that I thought was bad it ordered a sensor but I can't get it out it turns out this other one is a 40 degree sensor so when it hits 40 degrees it makes contact and lowers the idle there are quite a bit of stuff here one of the things I found is supposed to be a bushing in here that's uh, not there anymore worn out and of course that's giving me a a really sloppy throttle uh, these injector hoses are this one is the main fuel in this one is a fuel return to the tank and uh, got some other lines here these are all vacuum lines that control part of the trunk or part of the dash stuff and the check valves everything seems to be okay and it's not uh, not leaking anywhere and I've got my high idle mostly fixed but I got to get it smog to get plates on it and it won't pass smog like this so what I'm going to try to do is just take this one fuel injector line off right here I guess and trace that up to the distributor and just see if uh, I mean I probably should pull it out and put the injector over a, a cup or something and see how it's how it's squirting I did put some fuel injector cleaner in it I haven't really drove it that much maybe 10 20 miles <coughs> and the fuel cleaner is working but uh, I'm just trying to diagnose what the main problem is I'm sure it's got a couple little tiny vacuum leaks but you could hear when it uh, when the idle control valve clicks on it, it drops it right down there's another adjustment in that it may be not quite right but uh, I think I'm a couple hundred rpm away from where it should be I could live with that but the miss I can't live with it won't pass smog with that and of course it messes up the oxygen sensor and the little ECU tries to learn and is learning with a bad cylinder so that's where I'm at on this one I'm just kind of bringing you up to speed there I wish I would have 
showing you how this all come apart because that would have been a pretty good video but at the time I was just trying to to get it where I could run and drive man you put it in gear and it would just bang both forward and reverse here's my 380SL this is 84 I'll try to make some videos of this <laughs> it's in good shape but I had some idle problems this is a Jetronic Bosch fuel injection constant flow like on the early Corvettes but I've done a lot of studying and stuff on it this thing right here is an idle control valve if it's not working it idles at 1500 it basically regulates the air for idle uh, I replaced this right side here the left side of the motor right side as we're looking at it uh, I did two injectors I've got eight of them I've got new rubbers that go across it there's one here that uh, I didn't have and it goes across underneath this throttle body over to the other side and uh, basically what you do you have to take off the fuel lines and uh, take them off the injectors and then you get the injectors out there's a rubber boot that the injectors go into that pushes down into the head and then there's a big rubber hose that connects them all together and if this thing leaks vacuum anywhere uh, there goes your your idle and missing and everything else so we got uh, a good sunshiny day here I think I got about four or five hours of sunlight I'm hoping that'll be enough to replace those other four injectors and that air hose it under it I have to take off uh, a lot of this stuff in here to get down into the injectors there's that one black hose you can see I put that in I didn't get these two rear injectors but I did get the two front ones uh, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be taken off of here in order to get this thing uh, taken apart and since I'm not familiar with it, it took me quite a while but this time I'll take pictures of it as I take it apart so it'll be a little easier to put it back together basically I gotta strip these injectors to where I can get down to this hose right here it crosses over under there goes over to the other side and I have to replace all that so basically I got a lot of pulling these fuel lines off to get this started <laughs> 